Thank you all so much for all the ways that you've supported us tonight and for the entire time you've been involved with ALF Oregon. These are not easy times for any of us. We are confronting multiple pandemics, COVID-19, systemic racism entrenched in our systems, climate disruption, devastating fires, and economic inequality. If I were to tell you that I have a great amount of hope right now, would you believe me? Do you feel the same glimmer of hope from time to time? This hope finds me every single time I'm in conversation with ALF Senior Fellows. Earlier, I talked about how we've been connecting online and how this has helped us respond to the needs of our communities together. In spite of the culture of divisiveness and vitriol that we are living in as a country, together we are hundreds of people choosing to connect. We choose to see the humanity in one another and work on solutions that will usher in a new story for our state, one that centers on equity, healing, collaboration, and justice. The magic of ALF has always shown up in these discreet but very powerful ways. We unlock the potential of leaders and we connect people who wouldn't have connected otherwise. And this leads to people working together to prioritize the common good for all Oregonians. Doing their part in small and big ways to improve and strengthen our communities. A great example of this is the Reimagine Oregon project. With the resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement, following the murders of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd, among so many others, our communities took to the streets with grief and outrage, tired of asking for breath tired of waiting for equality. So black led organizations, activists, protest organizers, and educators came together to boldly dismantle Oregon's systemic racism in our lifetime. They didn't have to come up with new demands or new proposals. They had these demands and proposals in front of decision makers for decades. Instead, they formed Reimagine Oregon to ignite this change on a timeline with specific commitments from legislators and other leaders to champion the implementation of these policies. A few ALF senior fellows are part of the Reimagine Oregon project. Many of our senior fellows are doing this work in different ways too. This gives me hope for our collective future. This tells me we are bigger than we know. All of you have made ALF a catalyst for movement building and for change. And this is how I want us to move forward as an organization, knowing that when we show up for each other, we win. The connections we build with each other make it easier for us to act when we're called upon. When our BIPOC senior fellows say, okay, Black Lives Matter to you, prove it. We get to work. When Susanna Morgan, CEO of the Oregon Food Bank and Class 34 tells us that our communities are facing the worst food insecurity we've seen in at least a generation, we show up, we donate, we volunteer, and we check on folks in our own communities. When our education leaders need resources for our most underserved students, people in our network lend ideas, expertise, support, and connections. There are so many ways we can show up right now and going forward as people, as an organization, and as a state. Our ALF network is able to show up differently because of the stories we've shared, because of the perspectives we've opened ourselves up to, but most of all, because we've listened to each other. So I challenge you, keep doing the work, keep asking for what you need, Keep sharing what you can. Let's keep showing up for each other. I know that my beloved state of Oregon will be a better place because of it. This is what gives me hope right now. My fellow Alfies, what gives you hope?